All right, everyone, what is going on, and welcome back. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at two 3090s that seem to be my problem children. They are just ruining my rig and ruining my farm. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to jump into these, possibly take the cards apart, take a look at the thermal pads and paste, and see if maybe I, I, maybe I missed something or maybe they just need cleaned. Uh, this is rig two. And if you know anything about my shed, I have multiple rigs all the way up to rig 10. So this is obviously an older rig. Uh, I don't know, like I said, maybe the thermal pads and paste do need change. We're about to find out. So if you look here, it might be a little hard to uh, see. I would like to say, I did say this in my live stream, I do have a brand new 4K camera coming and I'm working on my editing and my shooting. So all of this should be way better, probably like next week. I'm hoping to be able to screen record and do a lot of things uh, a lot better. So. Getting into it, these are the two cards that I'm talking about. If you look down here at the bottom, these two cards are absolutely fine. If you look, they're mining. Um, it is about 1130 at night. Uh, this one's at 54 degrees Celsius. This one's at 66. The VRAM temperatures are both at 96 degrees. And if you look over here, the fan speeds are at 75. The powers, both of them are at 85% power usage. Um, so really no problems there. These two cards are really good. Uh, they're just the hash rates are running a little bit low on each. This one's at about 111 and this one's at 104, but I don't know if that's like an algorithm problem or something else because they were running 115 pretty much the entire day. Now, these two cards up here are the two that are my problem. Uh, if you look, this one's at 97 mega hash, this one's at 93. And then if you look at the temps, this one's at 90, uh, 69 degrees Celsius and this one's at 74. So this one's running a little bit warm now. And if you look at the VRAM temperatures, this one is 102, which is pretty normal for me. And this one is 98, which is pretty normal for me as well. Uh, if you look over here, you can see that the fan speeds are, all of my fan speeds are actually set to 75, and uh, the power consumptions on these ones are set to uh, 80%. Now, uh, I will say that it's 1130 at night here, and the temperatures outside have dropped to around 70, 72 degrees, and that's why these temperatures came down. Uh, during the day when it was about 92 here, uh, it, was, it was about 90 degrees actually. It got really hot today. Um, these temperatures all spiked up. Now, I don't really consider a 65, 66 degrees Celsius a spike, but that's honestly what these cards were running during the day. I think in a minute or two, they got up to around 68, but they were hanging right around 66. These two cards, on the other hand, uh, while I was at work today, they jumped tremendously. Uh, this middle one right here is the biggest problem. Uh, the temperature actually got to about 80 degrees Celsius. I think at one point it was actually a little bit over it. And the VRAM was around 108. Uh, if you look at this first card, the uh, temperature was actually right at around 78 degrees Celsius. I think it was up to about 80 at one point. And then the VRAM temperatures were at about 106, which if you watched my thermal pad uh, changing video and paste on the Zotec 3090, uh, that's actually pretty common for me is to run 106 uh, VRAM temp. Now, these are the Zotec 3090s. I do have a bunch of MSI 3090s, but these are the Zotecs right here, these four of them. So what I'm going to do is, is I think uh, I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to run down. I'm going to grab those two cards off the rigs. We can visually inspect them uh, in the office, and then we can possibly take them apart and take a look at the thermal pads and paste. So just hold on one second, and I'll switch over into the office. All right, everybody, here we are. We're in the office. Uh, I got the two cards pulled off of the rig down in the shed. Uh, I guess we're just going to visually inspect them, uh, see if we can see anything wrong with them. I really don't want to have to take these cards apart, but I will if I have to. Um, nobody likes to take graphics cards apart. It's a pain in the ass. So this card, just looking at it right off the bat, it looks clean. It looks really clean. I kind of can't believe that it's been mining for as long as it has, and I didn't clean it. So... And there's a little bit of dust in here, I guess, but nothing that would really make a difference. All the pads look like they're making good contact, too. I wish I could get a good camera angle in here to show you all, but you can see the pads are all making good contact. Um, yeah, I really don't have an answer. All the fans clearly spin, clearly work. None of them are dirty, none of them are dusty. Let's take a look at this other card real quick. Yeah, this is another one that is really clean. God, I don't want to have to take these cards apart, but you got to do what you got to do, I guess. So, just like the other one, pads all look like they're making good contact. So, I don't know if you can see this, but there's no dust on my fans. They're all nice and clean. I don't know if you can see all this, but they're really clean. So, 
I guess we gotta take them apart. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll take them apart. I'll check the thermal pads and paste. I, I really don't think that the paste is a problem because the last time when I did these pads, when I got the cards, I changed the pads and paste. And I personally know people that have been running paste in their cards for almost three years now. They're not miners. They just use them for gaming in the evening, but still, it's still three years of running the same paste. I find it hard to believe that after just a handful of months of mining here, even though it was warm, that the paste is all dried up. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to hyperlapse this video because I don't want to bore everybody to death. If I find something, like I, I may have forgotten the thermal pads on a chip. I am human. I may have made a mistake. Sometimes that is what happens when their temperatures are spiking. Go back and check your work. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, give me one minute and I'll get the hyperlapse going.
All right, everyone. So we got them all repadded and pasted. Uh, they all look good. I think they're all back together properly now. I double and triple checked all of my work as I went. Uh, got pads on all of it, and I got definitely enough paste. I think I might have went a little too heavy on the paste, but we'll find out. So uh, I'm going to hit stop on this video. I'm going to run down to the shed. I'm going to get these connected, and I'm going to get the rig back up and running. I'm going to let it run for about 30 minutes or so before I turn this back on, and then we'll get a look at the temperatures and see if that fixed anything. So just hold on one minute. All right, everyone, so we are back here at the desktop. Uh, I got all the cards back in, well, the two cards that I re-thermal padded and pasted. Um, I did get them plugged back in. They've been running for a little over 30 minutes now, and as you can see, the VRAM temperatures are where they should be, and the actual temperatures of the, the physical graphics card have come down pretty tremendously. Uh, like I said earlier today, both of these temperatures were hitting about 80, 80 plus degrees Celsius. I actually had to disable the cards. So... It looks like if I was a betting man, I would say that I didn't have enough paste on these cards. And shame on me because I've done these cards dozens of times and I don't know if maybe I was just in a hurry, if I wasn't paying attention, if I didn't have it completely spread the whole way over it. But I definitely didn't have enough thermal paste. As soon as I got it open, I recognized it. So these ones seem to be fixed. They seem to be running nice and cool. So whenever it hits 90 degrees here tomorrow, I don't think I'll have to disable these. They, 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 they'll probably spike, but they're not going to spike into the danger zone. Uh, next card i got to take care of is down here. This one is currently, it is the middle of the night, and it is running at 66 degrees Celsius, which is quite high for this time of the night. So, And if you look over here, all my hash rates, i got 113, 111, 113. So they're even lagging a little bit, but this one's at 106. This one's really lagging. So I'm starting to think that I need to repaste this card too so i will probably do that tomorrow at some point but uh i'm not going to do it right now it is way too late it's almost it's 1 right now so i think that's going to be about the end of this video i'm super happy that we got these cards fixed uh, i'm glad it wasn't anything major thank god um so just some regular maintenance i just need to slow down and pay attention to what i'm doing and that's just as a reminder to anybody out there if you're having any problems with your thermals right here maybe you just need to check your work um lord knows i do so I will let you all go. I hope you have a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.